Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna be showing you guys our 4,000 pound, $3,000 coin safe. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Wow, would you look at that? All these beautiful coins, so majestic. If you guys are interested in some coins, AcousticCollectibles.com. You'll have all these coins to choose from, and yeah, add some to your collection. Hi guys, my name is Casey Haddock. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to introduce you to Lucky. Lucky is a 4,000 pound beast. She is pretty and she is heavy. Her door weighs a thousand pounds by itself. We had to have this little lady brought in here with an electric forklift. She makes me happy and I sleep well at night. I am six foot four, almost six foot five. She's on blocks, but she's uh, taller than me. Um, when we were thinking about safety and security and where we were storing some of our coins and bullion this year, we thought to go to one of the best places to buy and sell stuff. We went to Facebook Marketplace. And I started shopping around. Drew was busy doing coin hunting and various other things. And in my hunt, I found various safes at the same level for a large amount of money, $6,000. And we realized that wasn't within our budget. So I kept hunting, kept hunting, and I found Miss Lucky here for $1,500. Now we had it brought in for another $1,400 because she is so heavy and so beautiful. Miss Lucky, she's 75 inches tall, not including the blocks, 34 inches deep, 42 inches wide, 4,000 pounds, 1,000 pound door. You got a key and a dial to get into Miss Lucky. What happens when intruders come and try to open something like this? So when we were getting this vault installed, the gentleman that was installing it that has 18 years of experience doing this kind of thing, he said that people that try to get into these, they try tipping them over, they try moving them, and what ends up happening is um, when 4,000 pounds meets your standard man, uh, Miss Lucy wins every time, and the man becomes a pancake. So what kind of safe is this safe? So we purchased this safe from a jeweler in Texas, and the key that they gave us to get into this safe looks like this. Like this, let me move my hands out of the way. The rating on this safe is TL30. That's tool and burglar resistant. Um, the rating is important because when you go to install something like this into a jeweler or into a coin shop, your insurance company is going to ask, okay, what's your vault rated at? And for insurance purposes, a TL30 can be insured for $375,000. So when we insure this every month for $375,000, everything inside is covered. The 30 part of TL30 in its rating means that if a safe cracker was to crack this safe, it would take them 30 minutes to crack the safe. Aside from that rating, there is also a fire rating on it as well. This safe is fire resistant up to 1800 degrees for two hours. So ideally it could last two hours in a 1800 degree house fire, but your standard house fire is around 1200 degrees. So we're good on that front. So give us an overview on how you un unlock the safe, Casey. So we have this specialized safe that you have to order with the safe company, safe and vault company that originally produced this safe. And then you got to put a, uh, a code into the dial right here. And then once uh, you get the key and the dial in the right spot, you're able to open it up and uh, now we'll show you what's inside. Are you guys enjoying today's video? If you are, please leave a like, 
Comment what your thoughts are down below. Do you guys have a safe for your coins? Um, and subscribe if you're new because uh, that's what all the cool kids are doing right now. So when you guys place an order uh, with us, basically we come out here, open the safe, and we organize stuff in a specific way so it can be easily found. Um, here's kind of the new inventory that we get. We kind of just put it in the front here. Some stu stuff sells off the bat really quickly. Some stuff uh, ends up being organized in all of these uh, bins here. Uh, you can see by the stickers that Casey put into place, we have uh, a few dollar bins here. Uh, this is kind of for Peace Dollars and Morgan Dollars. More Morgan Dollars, we buy a whole bunch of Morgan Dollars. But uh, there's commemoratives in here, Kennedys and Franklins. Uh, in this box, we have pennies, nickels, dimes, uh, everything that you might want as well. Uh, and there's a few more that are spr spread out through here as well. Um, for other stuff, like uh, rare holders, we kind of organize those right here. So we have every single type of coin that you might want that's in um, a rattler holder, just because those are more uh, scarce coins. And they're pretty hard to store sometimes because they just don't have that proper, uh, you know, proper storage like most of these coins fit in here. Um, how NGC and PCGS kind of brought them. Um, but uh, here are some of the raw stuff that we have. So um, if you could take a look, just, you know, we got some Capos Taft, some Morgans, uh, SVDB right here. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff that we have in stock. Um, but when we go to shows, we normally put... Uh, them in these intercept intercept kind of rows and when we do that it's easier for dealers to pick through them and collectors to pick through them so my brother talked about Facebook marketplace earlier when buying this giant beautiful majestic beast but uh, what's the craziest thing you guys have bought on Facebook marketplace we'd be interested to know comment that down below but let me show you guys like uh, kind of for example what we have in here I pull out one of these real quick I can kind of sift through things pretty quickly you know we have all of our dollars here uh, you know, pull them all out. A lot of common dollars, and then there's a few better date dollars. You know, stuff with color as well. Um, put this one back. Kind of the one that we were talking about earlier. You know, we have all the rattlers in here. Just ready for whenever someone's interested in something like that. Um, this is our newest PCGS submission. So if you guys are interested in uh, picking up something new from us, uh, we should have these on the website whenever our next video or a few videos from now comes out. Um, up on the top row, this is kind of where all of our documents and filing goes. It's kind of a little bit of a mess. Uh, but we do get some extra collections now and again. We bought some stuff at a garage sale. And we have some bullion as well. Some stuff we just set by for ourselves just because there's just not that premium as most coins have. Um, you know, extra packing supplies. Um, we got all the packing supplies up here as well. I think we bought like, what we buy? Like a thousand of these at a time. Um, just because it turns from 33 cents to 28 cents. And so we have the filing and extra stuff up here that we still have to organize. Then we have all the organized coins here. And then we have all of our personal collection stuff down here. And we know we've been showing you guys a few of the stuff that I have for my collection. You know, a few of the Rattlers, a lot of the Buffaloes, and a few Morgans. And then Casey stuff's down there as well. So uh, it's a pretty comfy safe. A lot of things can fit in here. Um, we're very thankful that we got the opportunity to buy something like this for such a great price. Um, the thing that you have to realize about a safe is that most people, when you actually go to see it, they just want it gone. They want it out of their space. They want that square footage back. And so we went to that jeweler's place. Um, and this thing's like, like Casey said, it was 4,000 pounds. So the thing that you have to consider is basically they pay for that square footage that they end up not using with the safe. So they're like, we just need to get rid of it. And that's where we came in, spent the 1500 bucks, and got ourselves an awesome coin safe. And when we first got this safe, we were like, man, dude, are we gonna have enough room for all of our coins? Right, and at the time we had like 100 or something. And now we have like over 200 coins posted on the website, something like that. But I basically, you know, it was completely empty in here. I get my personal collection box and I just, just slid that sucker in and I was like, man, we got a lot more square footage here to take up. So, uh, you know, just, just a pretty good safe. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be more thankful for the opportunity that we got. So we recently sent some coins into CAC and we got a few back and we wanted to show you one in this episode just to kind of make it a little bit more coiny, if that makes sense. Uh, but right here is a nice 1923 Peace Dollar, great MS63 by NGC. Uh, this is what is known as a white label. Um, it was CAC approved. Um, just because of how nice the coin is for the grade 
and uh, finding a white label like this right now is next to impossible. And uh, if you guys watched way back when we started making videos, we actually found this coin for $50. So not too bad of overhead in this coin. And this is actually in the family chest, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this coin. So we live down in Texas, and as you guys know, we really don't have seasons. It's pretty much hot all year round, except for a few days out of the year. Um, so we have these dry and dry uh, silica gels that you buy and basically leave out here for humidity. Um, so none of these coins end up getting warped in their plastic or anything happens to them. So we're very fortunate to buy stuff like this. It's pretty cheap, and it helps protect our coins from you know just the elements that it might run into out here. It is a pretty big expense when you think about it. Um, you know, you don't want to ever spend like $3,000 on something. But the question that I had was, you know, what if all my inventory was taken tomorrow? Am I actually protecting that stuff from it being stolen? Um, and if I'm not, maybe I should deserve it for that to happen. So us buying this safe really was a big upfront expense, but it's going to end up being worth it in the long term because of just all the specs that this safe has. Did you guys enjoy today's video? If you guys did, uh, please leave a like. Um, and if you guys are looking forward to more videos from us, please subscribe down below and hit those bell notifications so you never miss an episode. But until next time, uh, we will see you guys in the next video.